A big change to how all of us vote in Michigan begins tomorrow morning. No longer is it a choice between voting absentee and voting on Election Day. Tomorrow morning, Michigan begins nine days of early voting before Election Day. And that story tops our news here at 10 o'clock. I'm Kimberly Gill. And I'm Devon Fernandez in for Devin Skilling. You know, local clerks have been prepping for this for months. Starting tomorrow, you have the option of casting your vote early and in person. However, it won't be counted until Election Day. Mara McDonald is live in the newsroom. Mara, voters approved this in 2022, but it's going to be the first time we see it in action here. Kimberly, exactly. It starts tomorrow morning. It runs for nine days, ends on the 25th. Let me show you how this whole thing is supposed to work. The idea behind early voting is to try and ease long lines and snafus of in-person voting on Election Day. But unlike Election Day, you're not going to see all the polling places up and running. Instead, each community will choose its early voting sites. For example, in my township, there will be two. If voting early is something you're interested in, best to check out your local clerk's page and see what they've designated as early voting locations. A voter comes in, gets their ballot, marks their ballot, and enters it in to the voting tabulator. Those ballots will be counted on Election Day. But not before. So now all of us have three options when it comes to voting. Absentee, early in-person voting, and voting on Election Day. The difference being whether you go to your designated polling place on Election Day or whether you go to one of the dedicated early voting spots your community clerk has chosen. It starts on the 17th and will run through the 25th. The primary election day is February 27th, and that process will go on as it always has. The Michigan Secretary of State did a Zoom briefing today to go over details, but local clerks, they've been prepping for this for months. Back here live, you know, the reality is we've had a version of this in Michigan for years. You know, I cover a lot of politics for the station. And I always like to vote in person on Election Day because I want to see what the turnout looks like. I want to gauge the mood and that whole thing. But if I know ahead of time that my day is going to be nuts and I'm likely not going to be able to get over there to vote, we all always had the option of going to our local clerk's office ahead of time, telling them, look, I'm not going to make it on Election Day. You could get your ballot right there, fill it out and turn it in. All this is with this new in-person early voting is essentially expanding on that idea and making it a little more accessible. We're going to stay on top of the rollout demanding Kimberly and we'll let everybody know how it goes. We're live in the newsroom tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, Local 4. All right. Thanks, Mara.